Hello everybody, in this short Rhino video demo, I would like to show how we can scale an object to a specific dimension such as its overall length, breadth or height. By the way, this video demo is based on the request of certain viewers of this channel. Okay, let's start. Let's use what we have on screen for illustration purpose. As you can see, uh, what we have here is a fairly organic object and my requirement is for it to be scaled to uh, overall breadth of let's say three centimeters. Okay. The following is the process that I'm aware of, and if the viewer has a better idea, perhaps um you can leave a comment at the comment section below. Okay. So what I'm gonna do uh firstly is to create a bounding box for our object okay so i'm going to type a bounding box okay bounding box and then select the object to frame with a box okay so yeah you can see the object is actually now framed within the box okay let's turn to the coaster mode here you can see and the purpose of the bounding box is to Establish the overall dimension. As you can see, the bound, bounding box uh, is created based on the overall dimension of the object. Okay, so yeah, with that, the next thing that we can do is to group these two uh, objects together, the bounding box and the origin object. So I'm going to go to edit group. Okay, and then group these two objects. Okay. Okay, now uh, as you know, our requirement is to have this object scaled to an overall breadth of let's say um, 3 centimeters. Okay, assuming that these are in uh, millimeters. Now let's draw a line um, that is um, corresponding to 3 cm. Okay, so I'm going to click on the polyline and then Turn on the grid snap, okay. Okay, so we got a line here, and you can uh, check whether it is uh, of the dimension we want by going to the line dimension. Okay, you can see what we got here is actually 30 mm or 3 centimeters. Okay, and okay, so this is the next step. Okay. So now, um, what I'm going to do is to use the orient command, okay, to scale this thing to fit this uh, length here, okay. So select object to orient is this, and then make sure your scale is set to 3D, okay, and then specify the first reference point so this is my first reference point second reference point okay then we specify the corresponding target points okay so the first target point and then this is the second target point okay yeah and with that we have successfully scaled our model to its uh, required overall dimension okay so once we're done with this i can go to the group okay and then ungroup it okay I don't need this uh only box anymore okay and I have our uh, organic bunny now scaled to a overall dimension of uh, 3cm or 30 millimeters okay with that I come to the end of this demo See you. Bye.